All my memories gather round her. Miner's lady, stranger to blue water. Dark and dusty, painted on the sky. Misty taste of moonshine, teardrop in my eyes. Country roads, take me home to the place I belong. West Virginia, mountain mama, take me home. Country roads, I hear a voice in the morning. Now she calls me. Radio reminds me of my home far away And driving down the road I get a feeling that I should have been home yesterday Yesterday Country roads take me home to the place I belong Take me home. John Denver, done in, gonna ask. And I'm pretty sure that's the second time I sang that, but Michelle, Michelle, where's my notebook wanting me to sing that? Oh, it's way back here, right? Yeah, Michelle. So, and I think I sang Thank God I'm a Country Boy, and Michelle said she, the song Country Roads by John Denver, but I'd already sang it once, but I mean, as the channel grows, I'm sure I'm going to repeat songs, and that happens to be, like, a really, really good song. So, Michelle, I sang that for you today, Country Roads by John Denver. John Denver. Love John Denver. I used to go to John Denver concerts, like, all the time. Like, 30 years ago. It was a long time ago. All right. Today, welcome to Bell's Bargains. I'm Amy, and today is Shopping Saturday. What? You guys know this is my favorite. Okay. So, I don't even know where to start on this thing. It's, it's a fairly substantial haul. Um, before I get started, though, I just want to remind everybody that at the end of this video, I'm going to announce a winner, 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 winner for the theme, uh, for a craft this week. And this week I did B, so whoever wins, you got to pick out something B, like something, a something, something B. Anyway, um, because, yeah, because you should. Okay, so if you are new to this channel, I hope you'll stick around just a little bit and consider subscribing. We hang out in my kitchen like all the time. Like, it's a kitchen hangout. Like, I feel like you guys are sitting in front of me just drinking coffee with me. Although, I'm not drinking coffee today. Well, I mean, I did it earlier, but now I'm on to Bing. Have you ever, anybody ever tried Bing? Not from the Dollar Tree. Mm -mm. But I got a really good buy them at the grocery store, and they were less than a dollar, which they're very expensive normally, so. And that's black. Mm. Black raspberry one, it's super tart, but really good. So, if you are new here, every Tuesday and Thursday, I do DIY crafts. I do four uploads every week. So Tuesday is totally easy Tuesday. It's crafting for the non-crafter. And then on Thursdays, I do themed Thursdays, which there's a theme to it. Now this week, there happened to be a theme to the whole week, and it was bees. But everything on this channel is Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, and only Dollar Tree, because that's everything at the Dollar Tree is a dollar. A dollar, people. A dollar. So if you watch and you're a subscriber, all you have to do is give me a thumbs up on both Tuesday and Thursday video. Make a comment on both Tuesday and Thursday video, and then you're in the drawing, which I announce on Saturday, and somebody gets to win one of the crafts from that week. Right? That's so cool. All right, so I'm going to dive right in. Um, and just, I don't even know where to start. I'm so, can, you know what, I'm, I'm, where do I start? I'm going to go with crafts first. So um, I picked up more nautical rope. Why? Because, because I use it all the time. I told you guys the other day in a video that there's four strands in here, so I'm just gonna show you that. Look at that. There are four strands in each thing in nautical rope. I always at least double the size because I take, I constantly take two strands. I don't even, I'm not gonna get it to do it here, but I take two strands because it twists really nicely, the two together. But anyway, just remember, you can take this apart and use it, and it's pretty substantial. These They're getting smaller, it's only nine. No, maybe this is the bigger one. There's another one that's only six feet, but it's a little bit thicker. Is that how it goes, or is that the white? It doesn't matter. I just want the knot of a rope. Um, and then, I'm not sure. Am I insane, you guys, or are these new? I don't, 
I don't know. So I dollared this. Um, because it's chalkboard wood with steaks on them, which, cause I'm always gluing the steak to them. So I feel like these are new. I feel like they watch enough of our videos that they're like, Ooh, Ooh, they'd like those. I only picked up one package. They're not as big as the ones that I normally will use. So I just got one. So I dollared that. And then, um, the wood letters, which I'm pretty sure I already have some of these. That's okay. I dollared a couple more, um, cause they're always good to have. And <clears throat> then I dollared a couple of the metallic markers. So the white, I always seem to mess the tip up on the tip on on the white, the metallic markers. Um, but I love them, and so I actually use them on chalkboard signs more than I use the chalkboard writers because the chalk ones are so thick. So I usually use this, and I have a backup supply of like pens. But you guys, they're not always there. So when I see them, I pick them up. I mean, because they're just not always there. And then I just kind of want to do this that's on the picture there. It's super easy. You know, I'll change it. But basically, that's what I want to do. I just want to do a little boho thing. And so I have a couple of ideas in my head. And so I dollared one of those little containers. It's called a garden dish. A garden dish? I should do a fairy garden in it because I have so much fairy stuff and I haven't used any of it yet. And then um, I dollared some ribbons. So the chevron... So I thought of something when I picked it up. Do you think I can remember what it was when I picked it up? And I need to make like vocal notes in my phone as I'm going through the Dollar Tree because I had something really specific that I was thinking about for a DIY with these, but I can't remember it now. Anyway, um, and then I keep resisting buying this lace ribbon because it's so farmhouse country, farmhouse country, country. And, but everybody's using it. And, and then I was like, so I got pressured. I hate the pressure buys. <laughs> YouTuber is using it. Amy, you should. But I don't like it. But you should. I don't like it. Buy it. I did. Okay. I'll probably use it. I don't know in what. I'm just not a farmish country. I'm more farmhouse. I'm not country. But I like country music. Never mind. See, it's a battle in my head. So let's just stop it right now. And then um, always Mod Podge. And I like the matte a little bit better. So I picked up two bottles of the matte. And then I finally found the Aileen's Tucky Glue. Wait, what? Yeah, so you know this, I've purchased this before, but it was at Joann's Fabrics, I think, yeah. Um, So it's good stuff. Ultra strong, dries clear, non-toxic, ultra resistant. Anyway, yeah. I'm trying to read, it says apply on surface. What kind of surface it doesn't say? But I know I've used it on materials, and so that's pretty much what I was thinking. Okay, so there's that. And then a one Main Street Wall Creations, but I love this. Look at the, the polka dots. And um, because I want to use them for a boho piece, I just think they're really cool. They're just like, and you guys, they're this size. But you know how easy it would be to make these smaller circles? It'd be super easy. So you can get the same color, same everything, and have um, different sizes. For what I want to do, that's probably what I'm going to end up doing. Anyway, so got some gold dots. Okay, 4th of July. I picked up one 4th of July sign, which now I can say 4th of July. Memorial Day is over. I love this. So I got another one. Oh, my God, did I get the same one? No, it's not. I really want to pause and go check. Mm. Well, praise the Lord, I am not insane. It's a different one. But I thought, I was like, wait, but you know I love a sign if I actually pick it up twice. Okay, so, but the reason I picked this up is because I want to do this on a totally easy Tuesday is to join these two signs together because I think you totally can and I think it looks really good. I think either way would be fine. What do you think, guys? Which one should I do the, oh, like that's not bad, right? The other thing, too, is I could put a little bit longer string on the one and join them together, glue them together, and it's like, is that not cool looking? That's exactly what I'm doing, so that will be a 4th of July DIY. Don't know when. Don't ask. So, <clears throat> that's the only thing I picked up in, um, in 4th of July, Patriotic. But then, wait for it, I found this. I was like, are you kidding me? Like, wait, what? So I had picked up the other one that had all those signs and I was going to do a nautical with it. I didn't end up doing it, 
when I did monocles, and I'm glad I didn't because see, I will add this to it and make it an even more substantial piece. I should just have the leftover DIY day. Like, well, this was a nautical, then didn't make it a nautical. Here's the 4th of July that didn't make it on Patriotic. Here's, you know, I could do like that. I don't know. Anyway, this is so cool. And this is chalkboard, obviously. So I'm gonna take it off the flimsy stick here and put it, I'm gonna join it with those other things. It's already cut into the arrow shape for me. It's all really cool, just fun. And yeah, so I'm kind of excited about this. Like, I feel like, you know, I could, I don't know what I would write on here. Octopus Lane, no, Lobster Lane, um, Albacore Avenue, I'm like, I don't know. We'll see when I get there. I'll figure it out when I do that DIY. Okay, so in the, in their garden section, which is all right there too, guess what? I found another blue one. So now I have seven because I picked up another color to pair with the blue because I didn't find which, and I was like, why did I do that? If you guys remember, I held those in Vegas. So I found a blue one, not in Vegas, in my area. And so I picked up one just so I had two of each color. And then while I was there, I picked this up. Now this is not, this is not a good buy. Like I know I could go to Walmart or wherever else and get like torch fuel, right? Um, but I picked it up because I'm gonna try it just so I can let you guys know. Like, I'll let you know if it lights. I mean, how do you try torch fuel? I don't, it, sometimes. I think about these things and then I think about them again when I get home and I'm like, that was dumb. How do you try torch, well, I can't, okay, it's sealed, that's nice. Um, anyway, uh, do they burn, do, does one burn better than the other? I feel like if you light it on fire, you light it on fire, right? But for the amount that you get here, it's not a great buy because I've bought torch fuel before and anyway. Okay, so enough said about that. Let's move on. I bought one, I dollared, I dollared, I dollared one book. This is so cool. It's called Marriageology, The Art and Science of Staying Together. <laughs> I just want to, I want to give this book to somebody who, you know, how do you give this book to anybody? I know your I know your marriage is rough. I bought you this book. Um, I don't even know. Oh, the price wasn't under there. I hate that when that happens. The original price on this was twenty six dollars, and um, yeah, okay. But one of the reasons I really liked it was because it was this smooth white on the outside, which makes it so cool for so many DIYs. But I'll tell you about the book anyway. It says, A Smart and Concise Guide to Staying Together that draws on scientific findings, expert advice, and years in the marital trenches to explain why marriage is better for your health, your finances, your kids, and your happiness. So, and the other thing, and I did think for a minute, I was like, maybe I should give it to my guy as a wedding gift. I don't know. Anyway, marriageology. Mm, okay. You can just find so many cool books there. So then, in their container area, is that where I'm going to go next? I think it is in my, yeah, I'm going to go there next. And they're like, you know, like their containers and whatever. They have so many cool ones right now. So this one, which I purchased, I dollared, I dollared, I dollared this. Um, and this, does it say what size this is? I didn't measure it, you guys. It's about this size. <laughs> As about this deep. I don't know what size this is. Okay, it doesn't matter. So why don't they put the sizes on here? Because that's a lot of work. Well, I dollared three of these and then I dollared three of these. So this one's deeper and more and rectangular and whatever. So I dollared these for my office, which is once again a complete mess as I transfer things to get rooms done because we've had construction and then, oh, I thought downsizing was gonna be easier. No, it's holy hell. Ugh. Okay, then, so this was, wait, don't I have, all right, mm, hold on, you guys, I don't think, I, I don't know, I'm so confused, like, I did a candy jar for, who did I do that for, Gail, was it for you, um, asked me to decorate a candy jar, and I did this for her, well, then, I go in, and I found the, like, the mother of candy jars, do you see how big this is? Look at how big this is. This thing is huge. I was like, wait, when did they get this huge one in? Well, this is a candy jar. This says candy jar. But this this is a cookie jar. Am I wrong? Like, I just want to make this this super cute little cookie jar now. It's huge. It's absolutely astronomically huge. But 
The other thing is, it'd be super good for crafting storage. Like if you wanted to put, oh, that was duct tape. I mean, duct tape is just taped on there. Like if you wanted to put, like, you know, I have all my wood letters or, or um, I don't know. I can't think of anything right now. All my, my tags or something like that. You could totally use it that way. I won't. I'll probably use it in the kitchen. Um, but it's just huge. I was like, wow, that thing is ginormous. Ginormous. Just compare the two of them one more time. Ginormous. So I didn't know they had a bigger one. Or it's brand new. And it might be just said it's brand new. Okay, where to next? Um, I think I'll go this way. Badminton, anyone? Um, I haven't seen badminton um, brackets there before. And I saw them and I was like, yes. Super fun game to have in the backyard. And I already have like the little, what are they called? The little birdies? Birdies, right? Isn't that what they're called? But I bought the birdies for Halloween because I was going to make ghosts out of them. And I was, so I was going to buy more birdies. They didn't have any there. So I can not pull the birdies out of my, Hall uh, my Halloween crafting stuff or just wait till I find some. But do you guys remember this? I love, I love badminton it's just fun i don't know how sturdy but you're only hitting that little they should be fine because you're not like hitting anything super hard with them right i should give you guys a rec let's play let's play badminton mm. okay so also in toys i got a dollar a dollar a dollar me some pool toys so these look really interesting. They're gliders, and so you throw them in the pool, and they're going to glide just based on the aerodynamics of, of how they are. So I thought that would be fun for the littles. Um, so a dollar those just for the kids. I told you I buy a lot of that stuff. It's still only going to last one season, then I throw it out, and, you know, then I don't have to store it, so there's that too. But then, oh, I told you Disney World in August, right, because we're still stupid and we're going when it's the hottest time of the year because it's the only time the kids can all be there um so i go in and they had they had mickey mouse little figurines and so i got them i got everyone that i could i'll find more because i'm gonna send off remember i did the i was getting the lanyards for everybody and um and so i'm gonna put a little Mickey figurine on their lanyard, Mickey or Minnie or Donald or whoever, because then we'll all know whose lanyards are whose based on the character. But I just want to show you. So there's these in the Mickey. And then, yeah, these are the same. It's listed the same. But there's, no, there's a mini one that has all mini. Where did she go? There it is. And then there's mini, like this. There's all these minis. Anyway. Um, so everybody's going to get one. I probably have too many girls and not enough boys at this point. Cause I have like, so there's like Mickey with a ball. There's Mickey doing, what is he doing there? Oh, he's, he's got a tool in his hand. He's got a wrench in his hand. And then there's like, um, just Mickey, Mickey going, gosh, golly, Jay. <laughs> Jay, Minnie, I don't know. And then I had three mini mouses, but there's one, two, three, four. I need, I guess I need one more mini mouse. One, two, three, four. There's four girls, four girls and seven boys going. So I need a lot more boys. Anyway, I just thought that was a cute idea. And that this one's me because lime green is my color. So I'll be using that one. Then I think I should give this to my guy because he's playing with the lime green ball, right? Yes. Perfect, huh? Okay. Let's get past the whole Mickey thing. My goodness gracious. That was just a little bit much. I don't have any other toys, right? No. Um, I do have dog toys, though. Can I just show you these really quickly? I had, I dollared one of these once before. So I love these as decor pieces. They're not dog toys. They're decor pieces. Honestly, if you had a room that was full of lavender, if you bought like three or four of these and put them in a clear vase, so cool. But what I want to do is actually try and use chalk paint on them. And, and so it's one of my DIYs that I'm going to try. If it doesn't work, you won't see it. Just saying. Um, so I don't know. We'll see. But these are, the, it's really that strong rope. And they've got it all twined on there, which is what they do with like the nautical twine. I really want to tear one apart and see if it's just twine in the middle. And how did they do it? Because then maybe I could copy it. And maybe that's what I will do. I'm not exactly sure. Where to next? How about... um. Jot. So I don't remember why I picked up these pens, but I did. 
Um, I think it was because of the one in the middle that had the dragonflies and the butterflies, and I just thought it was really cool. And I wanted to see if they were any, if the pens were any good. Um, I've never purchased their fashion pens before, so. And then I was thinking it'd be nice to have like a cool looking pen on my wedding planner thing when I put that together. Maybe that was why. I don't know. I don't remember. Maybe it was a mistake. No. Anyway, so I'm going to try those and let you know. All right. But then I found the National Geographic, um, what are these called? Nope, not dividers, planners. Um, you know, these. So these are by National Geographic. So first of all, I just want to show you. Like this tells you inside, it tells you what this is. So this is the, uh, it's the located 1500 light years away from earth, the Oria Nebula, see in the inside, is the brightest spot in the sword of the Orion or, Orion or the Hunter constellation. The cosmic cloud is also our closest massive star formation factory. And astronomers believe it contains more than a thousand young stars. Anyway, so here's the really cool thing. There's information inside of these folders. That's what it is. It's a folder. About the picture on the front. So super cool. And I dollared these to send off to the grandkids when school starts again. Like, hey, you know, good luck back to school. And just send them some cool folders. And then there's these, which are the wildlife super cute um and they talk about you know wait this one says black bear cubs are born in the winter inside cozy dens they stay inside with their mother until spring when they emerge in search of food the cubs will stay with their mother for about two years so it's cute this it's interesting though these are just straight folders with the three hole punch in them and these it's it's um the they have the things so you can add paper in here. So they're different. And there's, what is this, like a fox? This is Arctic Fox Pup. Mm -hmm. And this one, how cute is he? Oh, that folder's a little messed up. It's the Mountain Gorilla Infant. And this one looks totally like a baby seal, harp seal pup. Yeah, I just think that's really, it's, it's just a fun little thing. I wish they had more of them, actually. Like, there was more animals and whatnot. Because it's such a good educational thing to send off to them. All right. Where to? Where to? Also in Jot. The only other thing I got in Jot was these. And just because they were so cute. And I want to send them off to my granddaughter. She loves squishies. Or smushies or whatever they are. So, this is the Smushy Mushy. And they're just composition books. I know this is not a good buy. Because you can get them for so cheap at Back to School. But it's just so cute the the front of it like that's the only reason I got them I'm sorry because the fronts are so cute and yeah they're smushies besties forever they're just there's nothing special inside of them except for that you got your schedule there that's kind of nice anyway so I got I dollared a dollared three of them for her just realize are these two the same no they're all different so I just thought they were really cute Anyway, so I'm kind of collecting stuff to send them when school starts back up. Just because I like to send them a little package like, hey, back to school time, have fun. Cleaning supplies. So these are sanitizing antibacterial hand wipes. I got these for camping. Um, and that's it. I got them for camping. Because, you know, because it's hard. Like no running water. You don't want to use all your water because then you run out and so blah, 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 blah. So to have a wipe like that with a little moisture on it to clean your hands with is always good. And then I picked up the trio, the trifecta of Ajax, like literally the trifecta. <laughs> so this is the super degreaser um, and it is with 100% real citrus extract. It doesn't say it's lemon scent. I mean, it looks like it's lemon scent because there's lemon on it. I don't think it is though. Maybe, maybe a little bit. It smells like Ajax and then just shove that out my nostril. And then this one is vinegar and lime. So definitely want to try that. Yep, I smell slightly. I don't smell anything. It smells like Ajax. Come on, guys. And then this one is Beach Alternative. So, um, wash away bacteria from hands. They all say that. Anyway, I like Ajax. So I picked up these. I dollared. I dollared these three. Um, 
And then I have the little, the little Brillo thing that you add soap into, which we really like, but I need to find some more replacement heads. So if I, I really like that product. And so this size is just easier to squeeze in and fill that up than a bigger bottle of this. I like the convenience of smaller things. I think I've said that to you guys before. So anything else in cleaning supplies? No. Man aisle. I dollared, I dollared a few things. Some more mounting tape, which is what I use to mount my lemonade things on my cabinet right here. Do you guys want to see? I think I showed it yesterday when I interrupted my video. But they're just over there. I put my lemonade signs on my cabinet door. Looks really good. I like it. Nobody ever does that. Like, who thinks to put things on? I don't know. Maybe lots of people do. It doesn't matter. But I used this to do that with. Just letting you know. And it seemed to work just fine. It's still on there 24 hours later. And then I also dollared some foam mounting tape. I don't know why. I don't know. Anyway. Just to add to my collection of adhesives. Because I need a lot of adhesives. I'm like so off now. Okay, sorry guys. And also on that aisle, I found the color changing LED little votive battery operated ones. And I like these. And so I wanted some of these. So I dollared a few on the man aisle. Okay, so let's go into clean um, health and beauty. I'm always picking these up. Always, always, always. So because I throw them into my stash and um, I'm... You know, I'm not even, I should give a review on some of these things sometimes, huh? I just do so many videos already. Like, I don't think I could add on anymore. A little foamy Gillette travel size to add to our travel stuff. Because we needed that. Um, I picked Bior face masks. It's like, wait, what? You guys, this is a good buy. Um, so this one is... It's the charcoal self-heating one-minute mask for, like, there's step one, and then step two is on your nose. So step one is on your face. Step two is on your nose. I picked up a few of these. It's pure. Come on. I should have looked it up. You know it's more than a dollar anywhere else. So I'm like, yeah. And it's like two, two things in one. Two. Two masks in one. And they had the Vaseline Cocoa Glow. I haven't opened this. I'm going to open it right here, you guys. I really want to see what this is. So this is with pure cocoa butter, intensive care, uh, body cream, but Cocoa Glow. Does it have like a little bit of a tint in it? That's what I was trying to figure out. I guess I'm going to find out right now. No. No. I mean, it's just normal... I get, I don't know. Why is this called Cocoa Glow? Does anybody know? Because I was thinking maybe it like had a little tint in it. Like it was like almost like a self tanner. Vaseline body cream. It's coconut in it, I guess, probably. Anyway, I love coconut. Um, anyway, any coconut lotions. I don't really smell huge coconut. So let's see, Cocoa Glow with pure cocoa butter. Cocoa butter, okay. For soft glowing skin. These are great for the purse. So, yeah, and I'd seen other people haul it. So I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna try it. And it is Vaseline, so it's a good brand name. I don't know that this is a great buy, though, for like 2.53 fluid ounces. Oh, maybe it is. I'm not sure. And then, um, ah, some Ioni eyelashes, which I have on right now. So messed up, probably. So I really like these, and they have all different kinds. So this one is the Hello Doll. Hello Doll. They look a little bit longer maybe than the ones I have on. I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm really getting into um, eyelashes now. <laughs> yeah, so I waited till I was 57. So what? Hey. No, I did not get in. I never got into makeup when I was. My girls all wear makeup. Why? I don't know. I, like, never did. And so now in my later years, I was like, oh, it's really not that bad, is it? Kind of helps a little bit. Mm -hmm. Speaking of makeup, then I found this. So this is Wet n Wild Cushion Foundation, SPF 15. I don't know if it's going to match. I don't know. I, I don't know. But my color changes so much in the summertime because I do, I tan very easily. And so I can't get it. Okay, never mind. This is Honey Beige. Do you want to see what color? Oh, it's so hard to get into. Okay, here we go. That's it. 
So um, let's open it if we can. And I'm sure we're going to be able to open this thing. It's hard to open. Um, you open it and there's the sponge inside. And then we have to remove this because it hasn't been opened. And there's the honey beige. So it looks pretty dark. Oh, it's actually not bad though. Look guys, I'll do it this way. So I just put a little bit on there. That's not, that's not bad. Oh, that's me when I'm in the sun, for sure. Okay, good call. Mm. Good call, Amy. So that's what mild honey beige, you know this wasn't a dollar. You know it wasn't a dollar. I mean, I'm just like, it's so amazing to me. Expires, um, I don't know how to read this expiring. 1231 of 2020 it might be. That might be why they're there. That is why they're there. So uh, does that mean we shouldn't use it? I have to do some more research on this. Mm, not that I ever throw out makeup when it expires. I do know to rotate it though. Anyway, okay, so that's probably why it's there. Um, but I don't know, it doesn't smell bad. <laughs> oh. And then um, one lanyard, because I'm trying to find lanyards that are all different to do with my Mickey Mouse, you know, things for, like this lanyard would go cute with this one. So I'm trying to get the lanyards to put the, the things on that have the cooling things and, the, and their little rain jacket poncho things and then the Mickey on there. So it's all for Disney World. And I told you I'm going to put their names and everything in emergency numbers inside their little tube around their necks because... I'm Grandma Bella, and I've got to make sure everybody's okay. Last thing in health and beauty, though, which I don't know why I just went to the lanyard because it was there. So this. All right, guys. Let's talk about something uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. So I use it every day, but not this stuff. I haven't bought it from um, them. I tried the foam one. No good. No good. Didn't like the foam one. So um, I thought, well, I'm going to try and just see. I mean, it's a dollar. A dollar, people, a dollar, compared to Summer Eads cleansing wash. So I will let you know. <laughs> so today I washed my hoo-ha and <laughs> I should whisper when we talk about this. Anyway, I'm going to try it, you guys. I hadn't seen it like this before. I'd only seen the foam. So then I found that. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. I have like this sticky thing from the makeups in my way. Okay. So also in health and beauty, I was like power stick for her ultra blonde revive conditioner and shampoo. But guess what peoples, I didn't buy it for me. So this is, it says on the back here, specially formulated to help neutralize the look of brassiness and balance blonde, silver, or highlighted hair. My guy has the most incredible, beautiful salt and pepper. It's like so gorgeous salt and pepper hair. And I'm always buying him purple shampoos, which he never knew about until he met me. I was like, no, you're going to ruin that silver hair unless you put use purple shampoos. So I buy him purple shampoos, but they're expensive. If you guys don't know, they are expensive. And this is a good, this is power stick. So it definitely sells for more than a dollar. And then I found it at the Dollar Tree and it's a dollar, people, a dollar. So I dollared this. I dollared a couple of them because I wanted to make sure I had a supply. And so if you don't know what purple shampoo is, well, that would be the conditioner, so not that one. Um, see, it's purple. It's actually purple. Oh, I made a mess. Oh, it smells good, guys. Yeah, I don't know what to do with this now. Do that. I'll wash it after I'm done. I'll wash it all off and get that shampoo off me. Okay. So I was super excited about that because purple shampoo is so incredibly good. And then not only that, but then they had the conditioner that went along with it. So that was wonderful. I'm excited about that. So I purchased those for my guy. Let's see. Oh, I'm going to keep going. Where am I going to go to? Oh, in health and beauty. Well, yeah. Also, I dollared the Sepacol and I dollared the um, antiseptic. Prep whites, these are for camping. These are for my travel medicine thing that I started last week. So buying little things to throw into a travel medicine bag because, 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 
Mm -hmm. And this is Cured. And this is Sipico. Both brand names. Can't beat it. All right. Then, um, where to now? I'm going to go this way. Oh, no, I have one more game. I'm kids toy thing. So this is called Escape Room Challenge and solve 48 brain teasers under, under pressure. And I thought this would be really fun to do with the kids. And so it's like, so this is what it says. It says, you've been captured by a mad genius. He'll only let you go if you prove yourself worthy. Solve as many puzzles as you can in 10 minutes and hope you'll serve and hope you'll survive. Play by yourself or in a team and deal with the pressure of solving riddles and puzzles while time is ticking away. So there's 24 cards, one answer code, one instruction card. I don't know. It's probably only good for a couple times because you're going to get through the riddles. But I thought kind of a fun thing. And my idea was car driving or traveling because it's just like to engage their brain and be like, hey, hey, figure this out. Anyway, um, I'll let you know, I think. Okay, I'm going to go into party supplies, and then I'm going to finish off with this other stuff. So, in I walked in, and they had the graduation stuff up, and I was like, wait, what? Can you see the size of this? Woohoo! I mean, this thing is huge. And they show, like, graduates holding it. Okay. But what is it? Why does it have to be for graduation? It says, woohoo! Woohoo! I don't, can't stop myself. And also, if you cut out the middle, you get, oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Or you get, whoa, with there. Or you get, oh. See, there's, oh. There's like so many. How many words can we pull out of this? We get, who. Actually, you could get who, H O W H O. Anyway, um, I just couldn't believe the size of it. So I was like, well, woohoo can be work for so many things. Like, woohoo. And uh, a dollar. It's huge. I mean, look how huge that is. That's big. So, in their pipe. But then, I walked on, and I found this. Do you remember I did the, um, I got the dinosaur last week? And I was like, but that's huge. That's like huge decoration for a dollar. Well, they don't stop surprising me, because here we have this huge birthday cake wall art piece for a dollar, so I dollared, I dollared this. Hold on, I'm trying to get all the candles up. The best part is, you could put this up for a child that's say three, and you could just put three candles up. You don't have to put all of them, or two, or four. This will take you to five. If you bought two of them, you could add candles onto the top, so it could be eight or nine, right? You just, how stinking cute, you guys. There's like four tiers to this, no, three tiers to this birthday cake. A dollar, people. A dollar. That's like, it's a, such an incredible buy. What a decoration for a dollar. I just, and this will go. I'll put this in my birthday stash for sure. I mean, I was like, what? A dollar. A dollar. Okay, oops, I don't want to drop it. Let's put it over here. All right, but then I had to pick up one Father's Day card because <coughs> I did, sorry, I did the, uh, where's my drink? I did the um, vodka. <laughs> I did the barbecue basket, which I'm giving to my guy for Father's Day. So I had to pick up this card. Dad, master of the grill. And it says, you're flipping awesome. Happy Father's Day. So it wasn't relative to from a child to a father. I can use it from, you know, for me to him. And I, you know, their cards are amazing. And this has got like some three-dimensional, like the grill is 3D. Yeah. So, and it's a cute card. It's a very cute card. So I, I dollared a Father's Day card. But then I saw these. And these are brand new. I've never seen them before. Never, ever, ever. And I was like, oh my gosh. So I'm going to, should I open this up? Because it says these. Okay, first of all, there's two different, there's three, three different things. Okay, so let me just show you that. This one, this one. And this one, but let me show you. So the pink one, ah, this is what you get. These are little glasses. This says bride. This one says maid of honor and the rest say bridesmaid. How cute, right? So there's that and they have that in pink 
And then they have that in white, okay? So cute. So I got, I got both to show you guys. Then they have these that say Team Bride. And they're all just say Team Bride. So if you have a bridal party, you're gonna get your maid of honor and your, and your bridesmaids, and then you can get these for Team Bride. I was like, so cool, so cool. I bought them for my wedding, but I don't even know, I'm probably not gonna do, a, I'm not gonna have a bridal shower or anything, I'm like too old. But I thought it would be really fun, obviously I'll go out with my friends or something and to have these and, or make people wear them at the wedding. They're all here for me, honey. Mm -hmm, that's Team Bride. Um, anyway, I just thought, like, I've never seen those before. Those are brand new. So for all you people out there, like, planning weddings and whatnot, keep an eye out for that because that's a really fun, fun little thing to add to, you know, a bridal shower or something. I dropped some. I dropped my Mod Podge. Not good. I don't need to Mod Podge my floor. Okay. So um, I went down the sock aisle and found some amazing things, like Superman socks. Come on, you guys. I mean, you know, these are not a dollar. These are so much more anywhere else. So I found Superman. Then I found what I have been looking for. And I tell you guys all the time, you see somebody haul something and you can't find it near DT, be patient because it's amazing how many months later things will come out. I know it was at least two months ago, maybe more that I saw somebody, saw a couple of people haul these and I was like, well, they never came our way. Yeah, they did. The Star Trek, the Star Trek socks. So I have um, Balkan guy, what's his name? Oh, I can't think of their names right now. It doesn't matter. Um, him. I could think of his name. Nemo. Nemo is his last name. Oh, that's going to drive me insane. And then Captain. This is the captain of like the second series, right? Why don't they say who they are on here? Let's see. Yeah, see, this is Star Trek The Next Generation. I did get that one right. Spock! It doesn't say it on here. It just hit me all of a sudden. So there's Spock. There's The Next Generation. So they have two from The Next Generation. Let me just show you this really quickly. But they're different. So this one has him on it. And this one just has, like, their little logo thing. Okay. And um, these sizes on these, they just say men's crew socks. Don't know that they even have a size. I don't think they have a size, you guys. There seems to be no size, which is odd. But then on the regular Star Trek, I got Captain Kirk and Spock. That was all I found. But just so you guys understand, they are out there. And these are Greenbrier. So Greenbrier's got something with somebody that they're... So especially if they're Greenbrier, you, there's a good chance they're going to end up in your DT at some point. And I don't know why it takes longer for some than others. So I dollared one pair of each of the Star Trek socks. Then... Um, these I have seen there before. No, 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 no. These I have not. But I, I wanted to try them from my guy and they're work socks. So they're Greenbrier. They're, um, it says job site, which I think is a new label. Is that a new label that they're putting out? Anyway, uh, so I dollared two pairs for him to try those just for work socks because a dollar is way cheaper. And then, um, and I found, cause I bought him a whole bunch. What was the brand name? There, not that long ago. It was brand name that they had them there. Anyway, but Universal is a really good sock. I've purchased these for myself, but I hadn't seen them in the men's. And so then I found them in the men's and they're the short socks, like to wear with your tennis shoes. And so I dollared a few pairs for him. And I just got one of every color scheme that they had for him to try. So these are really good. If you guys see the Universal, they're nice socks. They're really nice socks. And so what they do, they're universal. It's comfortable fit, universal stretch comfort, quick drying polyester, and it's a breathable, they like right here, it tells you all about it, but it, they are super, super comfortable sock. I really, really like these. So I dollared a few pairs of those for him. All right. Um, I just dollared a pack of these just because they're great risers. There's so many things and I have a few ideas and I didn't have any in my stash. So they're just the votives and they're only a quarter each. You get four for a dollar, a dollar people, a dollar. So there, um, and then I found this. This is such a great, great gift. Like um, this, just to put, like you could put gift cards in here. You could put cash in here. 
There's so many things that you could do to give this, or if you're getting married, this could just be your little wedding fund. I don't know, it's absolutely stinking adorable. The other thing too is you guys remember, you can always get this off of here if you just wanna make a personalized thing, if you have a Cricut or something like that, um, because you've got the, the top is cut, which is really nice, because then you it's super hard to do at home, and you can make your own personalized bank. And I've just scraped this stuff off, so it does come off. You know what I haven't done is like poured boiling water in there, and it probably wouldn't, I don't know. Anyway, I can scrape it off. I well, then I found these. Mm, I was so excited. Sand from my favorite beach. So they have like a light blue and they have like this, this dark blue. So I do want to do a nautical DIY with one of these. And then I got one to give away because um, my daughter lives close to the beach and she loves to go to the beach. And so I thought that'd be a super cute little gift. And just super sweet. Usually you see these in like a smaller bottle. So I like the size of these bottles. They're just really cool with the cork in them. And yeah, I love those. I should have bought more because I totally could have used them for my wedding. So how cute would it be? Oh, I should go online and see if they sell them by the thing. And how hard would it be to get all this off? Because how cute would it be to put a specialized like rum drink in here with the cork and then boom. Mm-hmm. I mind, you know, because that would be so cute. But I wonder if I could just order bottles. With, I don't know. Okay. I went off somewhere. I don't even know where. Oh, and I I dollared this mug that said, this guy is one awesome dad for my guy. And this, I think, is a super cute mug. They had some really cute Father's Day mugs. Here's what I'm going to tell you. What I love about this mug is it's big. This is a nice size coffee mug because what I'm gonna show you next is not a nice size coffee mug, but they're absolutely beautiful. So they had a whole display of Father's Day mugs. They, I can't remember what all the sayings were. This one worked for my guy. And um, so just keep an eye out, they're out, because obviously Father's Day is just a week and a half away, right? I feel like they were late getting Father's Day out too. I feel like, you know, Memorial Day was happening and so Father's Day got kind of sent to the backside. All right, but then I dollared this set and I'm like, Oh, for, well, it's cost me $4 for the set, but these are so beautiful. Um, it's a set of four. So this one says latte. It's that smooth, like, I don't even know how to explain it. Like the inside is, is, um, like slippery, shiny, and the outside is muted matte. But this one says latte. This one says the best time to drink coffee is now. Um, how about cappuccino? And then this one is great ideas start with great coffee. What a cute gift to set, right? So you could also just do two. So I want to show you this. Like these two obviously really go together. Latte and cappuccino, right? Those two are so cute. They go together. And then I felt like these two go together with the sayings on them. The only thing I don't like, the sayings aren't on both sides of the coffee. You know, I like it cup. You know, I like it when they do that. But these are from, I don't even know. They say Greenbrier. So, but these are so cute. I bought all four to give as a gift set to somebody. Um, so cute. But these are smaller. So I just want to show you, like, the size of this mug versus this mug. Um, this one's bigger. It's going to get, doesn't necessarily look like it on camera, but trust me. This one's bigger. Like this mug is bigger. It's gonna get more in it. Uh, so, I mean, but maybe that doesn't matter to you. I don't know. These are so pretty though. And they're so like, I don't know. They just look really chic. I just really, really love these. There's something on this one. I have to clean it. Okay. And then the last thing I'm gonna show you, I absolutely am in love with. And it's a set of candles that are just so adorable. I'm going to pull them all up right now and show them to you all at once. Boom. These are so boho. So we have Midnight Jasmine, Pro Prosecco and Rose, Wood Sage and Sea Salt, and White Amber. All right. Look at the colors. So there's like this, this blue and browns, like the blue and the light blue, sort of the teals and the greens and the lavenders. Okay. But this is what I want to show you. Each one of these comes with a wood lid and a tassel and they're wrapped. This is just like a wrap on them. So this is a clear votive that they've put a wrap on. 
smells really good. Not a very big candle, but when you consider that you buy this size candle with nothing, no extras on it, and this one gives you this, I'm like, when I burn these, I'm DIYing these because they'd be so cute to make like, you know, this boho tower on the side that doesn't have the label. You know, it could be super fun. Um, you could take the peel off and you would have this clear base with the nice wood lid on it that you could change the color of the tassel and make it more boho. So many things, you know, more of the black and the grays kind of boho. So many things. But that you get this little wood disc that fits perfectly is beautiful. So I couldn't pass them up. I mean, I need them, don't I? Okay, is that it? Let's just double check. I think I got everything. Did I get it all in here? I think I got it all in the haul. Yay, Amy. Okay, guys, that's it. That was your haul. So stay tuned because next I'm going to tell you who the winner, 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 who's our winner. I'm going to let you know. Wait for that. Good morning, good morning. Okay, I literally rolled out of bed this morning, put a headband on. I didn't even put earrings on, you guys. No lipstick, mm, leftover eyelashes. Still look pretty good. I'm kind of impressed. Um, just to pop on here and tell you who won this week, and I'm super excited. There it is right there. And the winner is Kathy Estes. You won. Yeah. So, Kathy, look, there's my cow wall. Oh, I should back up a little bit so you guys can see. That's my little cow wall. And wait, wait, I'm going the wrong way. And there's part of my kitchen. Isn't that like cute with the lemonade things on the thing there? Anyway, so Kathy, you won. So you need to message me on Facebook. But before you do that, pop on here and answer this and tell everybody which item you want from last week. Last week was bees. We'd be happy that you won, Kathy. All right, guys, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you are watching right now, give me a... Applause. That's applause for Kathy. Like a little applause emoji. Okay, guys. Thanks so much. Mm, this is literally what this poor man wakes up to. Uh -huh. The hair. That's okay. I know you guys don't care. Love you much. See you back here Tuesday for totally easy. No. What am I saying? I'll see you tomorrow for that live at 3 p.m. Arizona time. Is that Mountain Central? Mm. I don't know. It's so confusing. Okay, guys, we'll see you tomorrow for the live.